Hey YouTube Club members, it's me, Monkey Chicken here, and uh, we're back with another part of Mining Bananas. And uh, yeah, I guess let's uh, go ahead and begin on this thing. Ah, hit F1. So anyways guys, this is the episode where we take on the underwater stronghold of epicness. Anyways, um, I'm sure most of you guys are wondering, why have you had a fishing rod in the last couple episodes? Well, it's because I've been waiting to actually get a puffer fish. I have gotten so many fish, and I've been waiting to get a freaking puffer. Um, it's actually pretty tough to get them, honestly. I That was my first one out of, I think, about... I don't know how to... This is good. This is a good rod. Look at it. It's a good rod. <laughs> so many hours of just sitting there and failed casts. Although, what? It says I only casted eight times. That's not even right. Yeah, that's not right. I've casted way more times. I don't know how the fishing rod durability works. Is it like the fish that you've pulled in, or is it like the failed attempts? But I've definitely used it. Oh, it's because I have Unbreaking 3 on it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I I'm sitting here looking at this rod. I'm like, I've used it way more than eight times. Like, easily. <laughs> it's a freaking Unbreaking on it. Okay, we're not going to need our axe either. We'll probably need these three units. Um, so anyways, uh, let's go and equip our amazing armor. I've been building this for a while now. So we got Protection 4, Depth Shredder 3, Unbreaking 3, and Feather Falling 4. The Feather Falling won't come into a you know, real effect, but the, the Depth Shredder 3 will. Uh, then here we got Projectile Protection, because I don't know whether or not the little laser beams are projectile. Um, here we got Thorns 2. It is, I just like randomly went for the Protection 4 on this one, and it also threw on Thorns 2, so I figured, you know, why not in this one? I figure um, it's a pretty cheap thing that I could always re-equip if I want to. Plus, I can always get protection for I'm breaking. Since these ones are both pretty simple, I can always repair them. And then here on our helmet, we got a uh, fire protection, aqua affinity, and breaking respiration. So we should be pretty fine no matter what. And uh, yeah, let's see. Is this already done? Oh, wait. No, we're rocking in. Why is it not clicking on the potions? There we go. Oh, wait. No, I want the puffer fish. There we go. Okay. So, yep, that's our armor. Uh, we're gonna be bringing some uh, some super golden apple, just the one that we've always had. And uh, I've seen this on a video, and I've seen a lot of people recommend this, is to bring slime box in there in order to take out the water, uh, because no matter what, these are just a one hit kill, whereas if I were to try to place like other things, it would, um, it would just kind of build up there and it take forever to break due to the mining fixing. So I can go ahead and like fill up an entire area like this and then just go, ah, and then take it out and then all the water there is gone. So that's always really good. Um, we're also going to need some torches here so we can spam plant some of those. Um, okay, so water breathing. Let's go and throw a redstone in there. Um, I should have a decent amount of signs somewhere. I'm looking for them. We, could, we should bring like 16. This way we can just spam plant them. Oh, there they go. Okay, so we'll bring like 16. You know, I think we'll bring the other stack in here. Okay, so there'll be a slime blocks. Our golden apple will be right here. Uh, our torches right there. Signs. Here's my milk buckets. Okay, and there's my water breathing potion. So we're good on that front too. Okay, uh, let me drop my armor off in here. And you guys are wondering why I have the water buckets. Are you going to be using that to, uh, you know, take up the water? No, that's what we got this for, this for, and this for. That's also what the, the torches are for, to take up those. What we're going to be using these for is to drink La Cal Milk. This way we can undo the effect of the mining fatigue. And, uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I have the under, you know, the water breathing potion and that kind of stuff. It's going to be kind of weird. It's only, it's only going to come into play when I'm attacking the main boss, if you know what I mean. This way I can swing properly because right now it swings nice and fast. Well, it's swinging super fast because of haste. But when I'm going to be attacking him, it's going to be like ooh, 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 super slow swings. So what I'm basically going to do is wait to get right next to him. Um, he hit me again because there's like a timer on it or something. I think it's like every two minutes I read somewhere. So I'm going to wait for that, and then I'm going to drink the milk bucket and uh, go in with the water breathing potion, and for the most part, try to kill them all. So uh, anyways, guys, I'll meet you there. Okay, guys, we're here. Uh, I guess it's time to go ahead and do this thing. Uh, oh, and the reason why I didn't bring a bow is because with the new uh, Depth Strider thing, I'm going to be able to attack these guys pretty fastly, and I can kind of run throughout this water, and with the bow, trying to shoot underneath, there's like a huge drop in it, so it's not really worth it. Uh, ooh, pick that up. Okay, good. Uh, for the most part, they're going to be attacking a lot of the squids. Oh, they already hit me. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Got him. Okay, good. Uh, okay, let's just dive straight in here. Okay. Oh, hello, guys. Oh, yeah. I love having my depth strata. So awesome. Okay, there we go. There's my first little thing. Should be fun with our water. Uh, I want to find a main chamber, and then we'll kind of hollow that one out with all the water. 
Ain't nothing there. Still good. Ooh, oh, there's the sponges. Yes. I was hoping there would be a sponge room in this castle. Okay, so uh, here I'm going to go ahead and take out all the water. And as you guys can see, I punch really slowly. But here I can still take these out really easily. Um, although that instantly filled back up the water. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to block this off. Okay. And I'm going to try to remove all of the water in this room. I don't have much more time, although with our respiration, I guess I should be good no matter what. Uh, whew, there we go. Okay. Knock out that stuff. There we go. Okay, that's good. Uh, to get that one, that one, that one. Any more blocks there? Okay, so we pretty much got the roof. This way, no more water is flowing down from the top, and it'll create like another infinite loop or something. Okay. This is why I brought a bunch of stacks of it, so I can just spam as much as I want down. And this time, we can actually go ahead and take our time and fill up the entire room since uh, we, we're not worried about losing our air. Okay, there should be a last block somewhere that's filling up this room because we've already taken out all these guys. So where is it? Is it up there? No. Oh, it must have made sources down here. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Whew. Okay, so all the water in this room is now gone. There we go, so we don't have to worry about... Oh, there was the last source. We don't have to worry about uh, not only the mining fatigue, but also being underwater, so it would slow us down even more. I definitely want to pick up all these sponges so we can have some fun with them. Cool. Oh, yeah. Let's go and pick them up. Oh, yeah, that's going to break super slow. We should probably kill the guy first. But, yeah, that's pretty fun. Okay. Uh, let's get ready for this. Okay, at least we have that room cleared out. Okay, oh, let's kill this guy. Oh, dang, he knows exactly what he's Oh, there he is. There's the boss guy. Oh, okay, let's dodge him. Okay, I'm going to drink the... Oh, snaps. Oh, God, he really got me. I don't know when uh, he's going to be striking me next with the mining fatigue. Oh, he's running away. Damn, those guys are freaking smart. Their pathfinding is really spot on. Okay, I'm going to drink the milk here. Okay, let's get in. Ooh, come on. We got this, we got this. Get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked. Oh, yeah, I can swing all I want. Bring it on. Yeah, you got wrecked. I don't swing slow, you swing slow. Get wrecked. Okay, there might be another boss around these edges. Because there's usually a couple bosses in these things. Okay. I've never seen them from uh, in videos that they can be on this outskirts little edge around here. Yeah, okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's pick up a little bit more air. Okay. Oh, yep, see, definitely one more boss. Uh, oh, there, there's his tail right there. Okay, we should be able to get him. Try to hit that guy. Okay, since he just hit me with his little thing, should be able to... Ooh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What? I seen his tail. I seen his big freaking tail. Where'd he go? You guys seen that tail, right? What? It was a big gigantic yellow tail. Oh, what the hell? Did Wait, did like Andrew or someone of these guys find this place already? Why is this already stripped? It's so weird. What the hell? Wow, you know, I bet Andrew, uh, back when, if you guys don't know, this was originally a server. So maybe Andrew or Sour or Laundry, they already found this temple, which kind of sucks. Hmm. Well, hey, at least they left the gold here. Maybe they got scared or they died or something, and then they, they wanted to get re-kitted up. Okay, definitely, there's still one around here then. Where is he? We should definitely be like trails of signs this way we don't keep on searching the same thing. Do these guys have thorns on them? Because I'll get hit. Like once. Ooh, uh, ooh. There we go. Get some more air. Okay. Nothing there. Oh, there's our sponge room. Oh, get this guy. Yeah, I think they have like thorns on them. Oh, dang it. I don't know where their last guy is at. Okay, there we go. At least we're getting all these freaking prisma crystals. Nice. I think that's what makes those sea lantern things. Okay, let's float up. Hmm. Where could he be? Definitely not in this area. I don't think we've really gone towards the center yet. So we should probably do that. But I'm going to quickly pick up... No, I can't pick up those. <laughs> That's right. Not with all this uh, freaking mining fatigue gun. Especially since we're underwater. Although it actually does matter if we're underwater. Because we have, I think... Our ah, there he is. He must have swam over here. That's where he went. Oh, God. No, actually, I'm going to pick this up. 
Ooh, I need to drink my milk bucket. Okay, there we go. This way I can swing properly. Get right. Woo! Another sponge. Oh, there's a guy. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Get wrecked! Get wrecked, buddy. Get wrecked. Yes! Okay. Will there actually be a uh, gold in here? No, I guess not. Okay. Well, it's worth the thing to look at. So, there usually is just about two bosses. I don't know if there'll be any more. But I think for the most part, we have claimed this area for our own. Okay, so we're back at the start. So yay! I think we've won! <laughs> we've taken this place for our own! Yay! Oh, dang it, I can't get out of here. <laughs> okay, let's grab this and put that there. Woohoo! Okay. And... Okay, yes. Wait, no! What? Oh, God, I thought I broke it. Like, it somehow shit. There's still another one! What? Where is he? I thought I've been over, like, every inch. Hmm... There he is. Hey, no, no attacking me. Erect, buddy. Erect. You can't hurt me with this. Yeah. Wreckage. I killed your king. I am now your king, and I deem you unworthy to live in my kingdom. A lot of kings there. But okay. That's three. <laughs> I think we're good now, guys. <laughs> oh, we've taken out three of these guys. Okay. So with that being said... I don't want to say we're done yet, because I don't want there to be, like, randomly a fourth one. Okay, just making sure my matting fatigue is done and over with. Okay, these wet sponges, I would imagine they're wet. Yeah, they're wet. Okay. Man, I'm not even sure what we use these sponges for, but I just really like them. They're really cool. I wish they had, like, the same effect as, like, a, like a slime block, where they were really bouncy. Like, if you had them wet, is it they made they had the, the bounce effect? And if they were dry, they were just kind of like a regular block, and, you know, they absorb the water. Because, you know, they're sponges, right? You know, they're kind of like, um... Yeah, sponge? I, I, I don't... Uh, whoa, God. I don't know the right word to, to look for. Bouncy? I don't know. Squishy? Maybe maybe you would do this if it's a wet sponge. It would absorb your fall, like, no matter what height. Because as if it's like a water block. You would lay it on and you would... I don't know if it would, you know, squish out the water, per se. But I think it would still be, like, pretty cool if it, like, absorbed your fall damage. Because that could be pretty cool. Okay, I see another one of these guys. I think they keep spawning here no matter what. Because I think you're able to set up, like, grinders for these guys. Okay, get wrecked. Um, I am going to want to start to strip this place apart, though. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing that. Uh, let's see. We should probably start with the corner and then start draining this place out for the most part. Okay, let's go up here. You know, do I have a chest? No, I think I'm going to go ashore. And I think I'm going to grab a chest and start stripping out this place. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to start taking some stuff, so I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, guys, we're back, and, uh, yeah, I've been gathering stuff for a while now. Um, I was going to make a chest, but then I just decided I was going to go for all the kind of scene lanterns. I'll probably come back here and try to strip this thing raw, but I kind of want to also look into building a grinder for one of these things, so I'll probably take a, a bit of time to see what that's like. But anyways, guys, uh... Yeah, I got a decent amount of sea lanterns there. You know, I almost got two stacks. I uh, got a lot of new prism shards. I think they just make the block, right? Yeah, that's all they do. Um, I don't know if they're using any of the recipes. I'll have to look into them. But I'm pretty interested in these blocks. I hear they change colors over time. They'll start to turn like a purplish color or something like that, um, which is pretty cool. I'm always interested in these prismarine blocks because they're actually an animated light source, if you guys don't know. I'll place it down. And, of course, it's not showing the animation. It's probably my texture pack. I'll look into that. But, anyways, so, yeah, I'm pretty interested in these things. I like the whole blue and outlining the white and stuff. It could look like a pretty awesome light source. And it's always nice to have other light sources beyond just, like, the jack-o'-lanterns, the, the redstone stuff. You know, whether that be for the redstone torches or if that be the, the what is it, the redstone lamps. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Anyways, uh, I guess let's head on home. But anyways, guys, that's going to end this video for today. I'm sorry for cutting this one short, but um, there's not really much more that I can do today. I'm still looking up some other stuff to get things rolling. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. We took out the freaking stronghold. We we got all the loot and we plundered it thusly. Oh, yeah, we're amazing pirates now because open seas, water, temples, and stuff. So, yeah, guys, thanks for enjoying. Uh, tomorrow, quick little hint. See the thing over my shoulder? Which thing over the shoulder am I talking about? You'll never know. 
We'll be changing one of those or both of those things tomorrow. I'm leaving you with a mystery. You have no idea what will happen. Hmm? 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 Okay, that's all I got. Peace.